Hi guys, I wanted to talk about the Asus ROG Ally today. Now, we all know it's good for gaming. But what else can you actually use it for? Well, I just thought I'd put a video together just to show you what else I've installed on here. And I'm completely blown away that actually you can use DaVinci Resolve for example. Now I don't have any videos loaded in here and I don't have any uh, media to edit but I will be editing this video on this console. So uh, I was completely shocked there are other videos showing editing on DaVinci Resolve with the ROG Ally. As well as DaVinci Resolve there's Lightroom which you can use as well as other Adobe applications in fact you can use uh, a ton of them. I haven't tested them but you can use Lightroom on the go. For example this picture I took very recently, just left a restaurant, thought I'd take this picture, uh, edited it on the go, exposure, whatever, highlights, shadows, normal stuff, no masking, nothing particularly CPU or GPU intensive, but in any case, I managed to get it looking how I wanted to get it to look. I just exported it onto my SD card and then connected this via my hotspot on my phone and sent the finished and edit edited file to my inbox. And that was it, it was done. No need for a laptop, I was totally blown away. No slowing down the application, no crashing, nothing like that, even though this has been reported in other videos. And this totally blew me away. But what really blew me away was that I could use Ableton Live on the ROG Ally. And I can install my plugins, just like a normal laptop. And I can edit those pl plugins here on the ROG Ally. Now I've got a Razor Blade Stealth 13 and it for some reason struggled using Ableton Live with live instruments plugged into it. But this has absolutely no problem whatsoever. If I just play an arpeggiated chord here. No problem whatsoever dealing with that input, no crackling, no latency that I can acknowledge or notice. I'm at a point where I wonder why I need my Razor Blade 13 anymore. This is smaller, it's just as capable. The gaming is actually better. I get a higher frame rate out of this than I do my Razor Blade Stealth 13. My Stealth 13 has an MX150 graphics card and this has the Z1 Extreme. They're both equally comparable, but this one's so much more portable. Now you're gonna hear reviews about people complaining that it's using a Windows operating system, and I must admit I had the blue screen of death on the first day that I got this, so I had to reset this from scratch and update the BIOS, and I haven't had any issues so far. But if you're used to dealing with Windows, this isn't gonna be a problem. If you can troubleshoot Windows and you've got yourself out of problems before, this really is nothing to be concerned about. Yes, uh, Linux is a better operating system when it comes to gaming, but if you want something that could potentially replace the laptop, you enjoy games, but you also have other things that you want to do with this, then this thing is unbelievable. Another thing to note is, obviously you wouldn't do all of this with a mouse to control everything on such a small screen. You can use the USB socket to then dongle up a monitor I'm pretty sure the possibilities with this thing are endless. If you can do something on a laptop, you can probably do it on this. And it's ultimately more portable, way more convenient, and great on the go if you need to edit and transfer files or music or anything like that without having to lug a laptop around. I'm thoroughly blown away and I have nothing but praises to sing for this so far. I've only had it for a week, but it's probably the best thing I've purchased in years. So ignore all the haters. This thing is awesome. All right, just a short one, guys. So I hope this was useful. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more of my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So until the next one, I'll see you in the next video.